Hi, Scorpio. How are you? I'm good. I'm Alex. I am here to bring you another reading. Oh, child. Well, you needed this. Okay, Scorpio came out. Cluck, 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 cluck. Galloping. Trotting. Trot, trot. Queen of Swords, Cup Master Flex. Star card. Mm. Justice. Look at the majors. Three out of four cards are majors. New love. Yay. Flow of love. Yay. New love. It just means the return of love. Right? Whether it's with an existing person or somebody new. Five of swords. Seven of wands. It's going to scooch. Scooch. Scooch a nail. So what happened? The bottom just fell out. Heavy boundaries. Ghosting. Uh, walking away. Feeling defeated. Regret. Okay, so kind of feels like something ended um, Queen of Swords. Maybe you cut something off or cut someone off. Maybe an Aquarius or a Libra. And you're hoping for new love or maybe for this lover to return. Uh, no, wait a minute. You you ain't cutting nobody off and then wanting them to return. And I kind of feel like somebody's about to return, Scorpio. Somebody that you did cut off. And they're coming in with a love offer, but I don't feel like you're interested. Okay. I know the past couple of readings have been about relationships. I'm sorry to my singles, but these are the messages angels are bringing to me. I mean, how else do I, I read the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups? I'm just saying. So the Moon card. Ooh, ooh. Feels like you cut somebody off who wanted to keep you a secret. Yeah, look at that. What was that TV show I was watching? It's, it's Friends with Monica and Tom Selleck, right? He was, he probably was in his 50s when she was dating him and she was in her 20s, late tw mid, late 20s. And she wanted to have a baby and he already had grandkids or something like that, right? And they broke up and when they got back together, he's like, you know, if I have to have other kids, I wouldn't want to have them with anyone else but you. And if I have to be a father again, I don't mind being it with you. And, you know, if it means giving up this, I don't mind because it's you. And she's like, all I just keep hearing is you have to, right? Like you're forcing yourself to do something. That's what this reading feels like. You... Um, cut someone off and now they want to come back and pursue you and kind of give in to you but you're like nah mm -mm, no queen king yeah look conversation mm, mm, mm. Um, let me let me put the cards down before I say that let me see what else. Strength. Okay. Courage. Yeah. Mm. Chariot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Mm-hmm. You were... Mm, eight of Cups. Yeah. See that? See that in the end? Five of Swords and Eight of Cups. Um, You don't want... It, it's almost like you... 
Nothing is going to come out of this. You know it. You're walking away. Okay. Not only that, but with the eight of cups, the eight of cups feels like this person, whomever it is, it's almost like they're coming to offer a cup. But Scorpio's like, bitch, if you ain't coming with 10, don't even bother. Okay. I'm hearing intuitively that since you were dealing with this person, you have since upped your ante, right? So in other words, if somebody was trying to keep your situation uh, hidden, right? Um, you just, you have since found someone who is, who will throw a parade in your honor, right? So the queen of swords and the 10 of cups, um, you're focused on your happiness. I feel like the universe has shown you something. I feel like the universe has revealed something to you, right? And I always say this to clients, be careful about your standards are good, right? But be careful about your expectations. Oh, I want to make sure, you know, she got good credit and I want to make sure, you know, she don't have a criminal background and you know what I mean? Be careful about going out into this dating world with too many hangups. Okay. Because when you meet your person, the universe will show you how stupid all of those expectations were in the first place. Because the universe will send you someone and this person will be equipped with shit you ain't even asked for. That's what I'm trying to say. I feel like somebody from your past Scorpio is coming back to make a love offer. Now we could be together, right? I got rid of my husband. I got rid of my wife. Now you and I could be together. Scorpio's like, bitch, you should have got rid of the mugs when I had my heart open giving it to you. Mm. This King of Swords, Queen of Swords is always a meeting of the minds. A very honest, emotionless conversation. We're having a conversation about hopes, dreams, desires, and happiness. Now, I would not peg the Queen of Swords with the King of Swords as somebody who would blow smoke up your ass, right? Because they're pretty honest, you know what I mean? But they ain't got the cups you need. You see what I mean? So it's almost like the King of Swords and Queen of Swords are talking about like hope and, and happiness. Um, but again, it feels forced, right? Again, I just heard Tom Selleck. If I have to be a dad at whatever, you know, forget traveling around the world, I can change diapers. It's like, bitch, don't be giving charge. Mm -mm. Don't think you coming back and giving in to Scorpio. And Scorpio is supposed to be like, oh, yay, goody. Mm. I don't know who reading this is. Mm -hmm. Seven of Wands and the Ten of Swords. They refuse to make sacrifices for you before. That's why you left. You were emotionally invested in this person. sun card um yeah there's an ending that brings forth um some sort of clarity right the moon is things hidden but the sun is what shines a light on stuff so we have clarity so we can see it the sun illuminates that which is hidden so you are ending any sort of secrets and bringing them out in the forefront. Ten of cups on ten of cups with the queen of swords. For real though? Okay. Somebody is serious about now investing in their happiness and their happily ever after. I don't trust it for some reason I just don't right because think about something this is Aquarius those two Aquarius and that's Libra excuse me Leo King of Swords is stubborn 
right? King of Swords barks orders, right? He's very intelligent, right? He's he's intuitive. He just he just knows shit. He's like a key decision maker. I had to wish for you to make this decision, right? I had to wish for you to choose me, mm, child. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Angel says somebody may get triggered during this. Mm. I feel like whomever this is, they're still toxic, Scorpio. I don't know, you know. I, I feel like they're. I don't know the way she's holding that lion, right? She's, she's um, she's helping him, but yeah, she got him in an everyday headlock. You know what I mean? Trying to to get out of his tooth, that in which is hurting him. So it's almost like you you're gonna need the strength to deal with this person's buffoonery, right? I can only imagine the lion's head is like ah. Right? She's like, hold still. <laughs> you know what I mean? And everybody, and you both know that once the hurt and pain has been removed, then everybody can go back to the normalcy. So to me, it's almost like somebody's coming in, basically trying to sway you back towards their way so they can get what they want. And then when they get what they want, they're going to move on. Oh, ciao. High Priestess, you already know this, Scorpio. I ain't telling you something you don't know. So now, um, Angel said, um, pay attention. Because during a Mercury retrograde, that is the obvious time when exes come back, right? Ex-lovers, ex-job, ex-friends, whomever, okay? That's the obvious. But say, for instance, when exes come back, outside of a mercury retrograde i kind of feel like people more so accept those returns right you hear of an ex coming back in a mercury retrograde you're like that's mercury never mind keep moving but when they come back outside of a mercury retrograde for some of you you actually may, may entertain them My angels just said, if you were dealing with somebody in your past and they denied you of love for whatever reason, I feel like with this queen of this um, page of cups here twice, justice, queen of, excuse me, empress and the strength card. It's almost like you're going to, that person denied you love. So now when they're coming back, you're going to deny them because love is coming in or because you already have love. Okay. That's, that's huge. So it's almost like the love you were denied, you get it back twofold. Devil, don't bring your ass out here. King of swords twice. King of swords here, king of swords here. That's an intelligent decision. King of Swords looking at the High Priestess Scorpio, you already know what to do. You do. You absolutely do. You, your head and your intuition are in alignment. Continue on. Mm hmm Whatever. Look. Movement, movement, movement. That's the chariot, right? Knight of Cups. That's reciprocal love. So if you are in a situation already, carry on, right? Keep working towards your goals. Keep moving ahead. Somebody could kind of find out that you're traveling or moving away. And they come and lay it on thick. Okay. All right. Four of Wands. There it is. Marriage. Or feel like you're about to get married. Seven of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Mean. Six. Mm, they're waiting for the right time to return. Are they watching Scorpio? This person, um, Seven of Pentacles, you waited for them for a long time. God, this is going to be triggering. You waited for them to love you. Y'all could have had a back and forth. 
and with a heavy heart you walked away for many of you you could have gone through a dark night of the soul and as a result of that you finally walked away from this person and thank God you did this to me kind of feels like uh, the seven year itch right I don't I don't know I don't know how to explain that it's like every so often every cycle of seven years maybe this person comes back maybe you guys start things up all over again I don't know where the seven seven begins angel said birth year to seven years so if you're born in 1980 your seven year cycle is 80 87 um 94 if my math is right 94 then 01 08 2015 2022 those are your seven year cycles if you were born in 1980 so take the year you were born add seven years and keep adding seven years and i kind of feel like now obviously if you were born in 80 by 87 this person is not coming back right <laughs> no that's not what i'm saying but i kind of feel like if you count from the year where you were born every seven years then when you get to the dating age or whatever this energy shows up and this energy is oh i'm ready to love you now <sighs> scorpio's like bitch get the fuck out of my face i already got love <laughs> all right i just had to say that with my big new york accent four of wands knight of, knight of swords six of cups they're rushing in going for child let me tell you something for those of you who are getting married don't put it on social media don't put your venue on social media be careful of who you tell because when i pulled these cards back i just got the image of somebody running to the altar oh my god terrence i love you i shouldn't have let you go now in hollywood right the person who is disrupting the ceremony the bride or groom leaves with angels are like this ain't no fucking hollywood we not we not having no distorted ending here but this is going for it this is you know foundations living together family achievements and this is the return of love so it's almost like go where the love is not that i got that from the cards i got that intuitively Go and stay where the love is. Home is where your heart is. Whatever it is that you left behind, learn from it, plan from it, move on from it, and build a funky ass future. Funky being, funky being good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. This is this top row is good as hell, right? happiness long-term happiness you you just have to kind of manage you know your pain and hurt right have the courage to heal okay use your intuition use your intelligence follow god follow the path and you will get what it is that you want angels just said to me too for many of you whenever you watch this reading plan this for your next cycle your next seven year cycle now, by the way, the seven year cycle, it's it's suggested, right? I don't know that to be true. Excuse me. Hell, I don't know a lot of things to be true. But if my angels say it is so. OK. Make time for self-love. Okay, my angel said, read this another way. Some of you, you've been keeping things hidden and you're about to reveal whatever is hidden. Acting coldly, you're now ready to just let go and be happy. It took a lot, you know, a lot of thinking, a lot of introspection, a lot of praying, God, angels, universe. But intuitively, you know that love 
is guaranteed for you, right? Where, whether it's the love of the person you're with, new love, a lover in the future, love is guaranteed. Um, with the Page of Cups, the King of Swords, you know what you have to do. It's almost like you're accepting the assignment. So I have Strength, King of Swords, Strength, King of Swords, right? Page of Cups, Page of Cups, Star, High Priestess, and Justice. It's written in the stars. You know it intuitively, right? That you need to put your foot down and head toward your, to, toward your happiness. Do not allow yourself to get distracted. So, yeah, keep focus. Keep moving forward, right? Knight of Cups, um, Chariot. Keep moving forward. Whatever your goals, your dreams, your desires are, whether they're Pentacles, cup, um, swords, or wands, keep moving forward. Take your time. Uh oh, cards fell into my mic. Sorry. Keep moving forward. Take your time, but keep moving forward. Don't go back. I don't know. I mean, it's the law of opposites. That's always the answer, right? Because the question is, why is it every time that Scorpio starts to get happy, here comes all the bullshit people, you know, trying to knock you off your throne? And again, it's the law of opposites, right? It's almost like, well, you earned it. You fought for it. You gave blood, sweat, and tears to get to this position. What does it mean to you? The universe is always going to come and say, oh, hey. You sure you don't want this nice automatic throne, this smart throne? <laughs> this smart throne, Scorpio's like, I'm good. I'm good where I'm at. Something took too long in the past, right? You have deep regrets about walking away or having to leave something behind, but it was for your heart's sake. And I feel like for some of you, it took seven months, seven years for you to recover or rebound. And now that you're rebound, you've rebound. Now you're ready to love again. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can continue on. I can't make this up. Make time for self-love and know you are loved. This is love guaranteed, Scorpio. I feel like opening this up, right? Death card and the moon card. You just got to get rid of those things that are hidden, whether they're hidden inside of you. Things that are hidden, you may be keeping from somebody. You may keep be keeping from yourself. You, you got to let the sun shine on that stuff too. That's the only way anything is going to grow. Hold on, I got another storyline. So you're ending something that can be hidden for um, happiness. You cut somebody off for your happiness and now you're trying to be strong. Yeah, that's, that's the storyline I'm gonna sit with. Practice gratitude. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. Thank you, Lord. Find balance. That's what's going to bring you into balance is to practice gratitude. Mm. So thank your lucky stars that you are over that cycle. The cycle of over being overly sacrificial and maybe having loose boundaries. Um, for some of you, it could have been related to growing up. You may be starting a new cycle where you're more expressive, where you're more upfront, expressing yourself more, speaking from your heart more, speaking your desires more, um, managing your ego and pride and speaking up when you're hurt, speaking up when you're wounded. Um... I feel like deep down, a lot of you know you are loved, right? 
sometimes your hard exterior blocks you from absorbing that. But there's a strong message here that basically says when you know better, you do better. When you know better, you do better. So keep going. Okay. Um, leave the past in the past. Oh God, my angels say, cause they still ain't no love there. Oh child, I gotta go. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you. Bye.